What's going on you guys? Welcome to another episode of JNB Tuning. In today's video, finally, I am going to do some review on our JB4. Uh, we've had this JB4 for so long. If you guys have been a long time viewer of this channel, I have been riding the JB4 since day one. Uh, even used the JB4 on the Mark 7 at one point, and uh, now it's on the Golf R. So guys, as you know, I've been planning to do some tuning on the Golf R pretty soon, and I figured I'll do my own review on the long time review, that is, is because I've had it for so long uh, on the JB4, and is it really worth it? Anyways, guys, stay tuned. background wise why did i actually decided to do jb4 instead of doing any other tunes out there available tunes out there well guys during that time around the 2015 time frame um there was no support on the golf R per se like any type of tuning out there there uh, barely no support on dsg tunes and so yeah i, I decided that uh, since i'm still on my warranty i figured hey might as well just uh, do a piggyback for now and uh, at least enjoy the stage one type of performance where the car was supposed to be coming in uh, from the manufacturer that way. And uh, yeah, so I figured I'll, I'll ride off the JB4 and be able to have a bit more uh, spunkiness on the car um, during that time. So. Um, and at the same time, guys, price-wise, it's really inexpensive uh, at that time, and uh, it, it cost me about $500, and I uh, purchased it used, that is. And uh, again, be careful when you're doing used. Uh, sometimes we can't get support uh, from JB4, from, from George, if you did purchase it used. Part of the reason why I wanted the JB4 is to preserve the manufacturer's warranty on the Golf R, and I don't really want to ruin the warranty per se, uh, the, the drivetrain that is mostly. Um, so piggyback is the way to go in that sense. As I mentioned, I've actually purchased this product used, just basically talking to George and explaining to him, being honest about it, and actually, you know, tell him why I, I have chosen the product and what's the purpose of it. And George actually, kindly enough, supported me regardless if I had purchased it used or not. So that was actually an awesome part. setup that I have that really worked for me with this JB4 is again having a cold air intake. The cold air intake that I have is an open box concept from Rock Euro and given that I drive the car only in the summertime and the fall time frame when the weather is amazing, um, you know I didn't have any worry about having a, uh, an open box concept. I wanted to maximize as much air coming in, cold air coming in to the engine uh, to the intake and that's where that's that's basically what worked for me really well in this combination as well as having a an inlet pipe bms inlet pipe in that sense and a, a bms turbo muffler delete those are the the combinations that truly worked with me in the process and uh, in combination of of course having a good fuel gasoline i've uh, had uh, used um Husky 94 octane and Husky has a little bit of ethanol 
mixture in it that really helps the car perform very well. So literally JB4 have worked really well for me in the past. Issue wise, um, in terms of this product, from my experience, at times the, the lower gear is a little jumpy, especially first gear, second gear. I find it a bit rough and jumpy. I don't know if this is the, due to the piggyback and the ECU kind of adopting to it as, as it goes. So um, that's the only thing that truly you know, boggles me quite a bit. I don't know if it's going to be the case with the, the uh, flash tune yet. I haven't had that experience yet, but I'll definitely let you guys know how that will be once I go to the flash tune. And by the way, I'll be doing a stage one still regardless because I wanted to compare between JB4 and stage one flash tune with possibly DSG tune. And possibly the reason why it's a little jumpy and jerky on the shifting on the first to second, it's possibly because I don't have a DSG tune on this car. That could be it. That could be the reason why. And uh, one thing I don't like about the piggyback system is that you end up splicing through the wire of the O2 sensor. And I truly don't like that because it's a room for corrosion to start and uh, having that open uh, or spliced a part of the wire could cause any short at some point in time before water get in there. So anyways, guys, again, unless if you are happy with being on the stage, sort of being on the stage one level, uh, you know, really the product is limited and you could pretty much max out at the stage one plus level. Uh, it's not bad. Again, it's a lot safer for your car per se, and you almost guarantee yourself from not failing in the process by riding the, the JB4. But if you are into the maxing out the car, obviously a JB4 is, is, is not for you. So it is fairly limited to what you can do with it. Well, overall experience, guys, um, one thing I want to say is great support from BMS or through George, that is, and his crew, you know, especially with the tuning, pro tuning on map six. Uh, it's so easy to pretty much just do a log and, uh, you know, send it off to George in the whole nine yards. Easy install. I mean, it's fairly easy to install and also easy to remove if you truly wanted to take it off when you're bringing the car in for service, which is really, you know, it's, it's just seamless, that is. And, uh, you know, uh, it is untraceable and, if it's untraceable, then you know less chance of being tagged and um, flagged by the dealer. That is. Besides from that, it looks pretty cool. I mean, especially if you guys are using a tablet uh, on on the car. Uh, the, I love the gauges. I love the the setup that they have. It looks pretty cool that way. I want to talk about portability, guys. Uh, a lot of times people don't know this, and I've seen a lot of ads online selling their JB4, and they basically quote it and say, oh, it's for Golf R or um, for Golf or for Jetta. Uh, well, you know, it, it actually is portable on every uh, EA888 engine. Uh, car or MQB platform, you just need the parameters, the pr right parameters per car that is, and it, you can actually port it. If you guys don't know, I have actually ported this thing from the Golf to the Golf R, and now I'm actually going to be installing it on the Jetta pretty soon, as soon as I can get the, the tune uh, going for uh, the Golf R, that is, the Flash tune. <laughs> In conclusion, um, would I recommend JB4 to anybody? Well, guys, that's a tough question. I guess, you know, it's a yes and no, that is. If it's a yes, if you are like me, very conservative and uh, don't want to break the, uh, the warranty in the whole nine yards, and yeah, that's, way, that's the way to go. And that, that uh, basically 
you know, it's untraceable and you, you're not uh, ruining any of that warranty in the process. But I would say no if you are one of those people that wanted to max out your car um, and enjoy it uh, to the max. Um, and uh, yeah, but um, other than that, uh, it all depends on what you need and what you like about, uh, you know, playing around with the cars, that is. So um, what you like in the process, because uh, it's all preference, that is, in that sense. Anyways, guys, uh, again, stay tuned on the tuning of the Golf R. Uh, as we speak, we have some products coming down the pipe, and hopefully we can do some dynoing, some baseline dynoing on the Golf R pretty soon. Uh, unfortunately, the weather is just horrible, and as you know, um, I baby these cars, and I don't drive them in the winter time. Only when the summer comes and uh, the roads are clean, then I can actually bring the car into um, Lakeview to actually get it uh, dynoed. Um, they're actually waiting for me in the process here. But uh, hey, if you know someone that can help me transport this thing, that would be wonderful. I don't really want to spend two, three hundred dollars to get this transported over there. Uh, but if someone can is willing to help me out in that sense, that would be wonderful. And just to transport this car over to Lakeview, get it dynoed and get the baseline dyno and back to the shop, basically. So anyways, guys, again, I hope you like this video. And uh, again, stay tuned. I know I haven't been doing any videos lately, but... Um, there's going to be contents coming in this summer especially i'll be doing lots of tuning on the golf r i'll definitely enjoy stage one with dsg tune with some verbal tunes all the bits in there and uh as we're as we are acquiring all the parts for stage two we already have the intercooler and i'm working on getting the downpipe pretty soon and uh yeah hopefully we can get some cat back going as well uh and we could be at uh, stage two at some point in time but i like to enjoy my tunes and you know play around with them do some reviews and uh yeah i just compare the, the stages of the development on the car so anyways guys if you haven't done so please hit that subscribe button and again if you like it give it a thumbs up and ring that bell so that way you'll never miss any of my videos that i will be publishing going forward Again, guys, as always, peace out.